and the winner celebration. And also because of Rixu did an awesome job. Yeah, Rixu played really uh, they, amazing. They were really, for me, a surprise. Yep, but exactly. They did it really, really good. Yeah, I didn't have them uh, on screen. Um, um, even though I knew they were good, they would play uh, somewhere three, four places uh, in the in the ranking. But uh, I wouldn't have expected them to to go in like this with so much uh, energy yeah. and precision. Uh, they are a young team, I think, and uh, that's really amazing how they established uh, the dominance. The dominance in this game here, Champions Cup 2017. So the sun is shining again. Uh, I misinterpreted uh, the the grey stuff hanging in the air <laughs> um, but Berlin can be quite unpredictable uh, but as you can see now in the live stream we have again beautiful sun and the water is glowing always the best atmosphere to play on the water rugby and uh, funny uh, thing uh, always we g I go with my team for a league tournament uh, or uh, playing on water rugby the sun is shining outside <laughs> and as soon as we leave the uh, pool area it starts raining wherever yeah. we are it seems, true. It seems to true. be uh, <laughs> physics or uh, <laughs> destiny. Yeah, destiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, coming up Copenhagen against Barcelona. And here my guess is Copenhagen is the dominant game, uh, dominant uh, team in this game. Teams get ready. But let's see. What they will do, I uh, saw so Bob Robinson here on the open side as a referee. Barcelona in white uh, from Spain and Copenhagen in blue uh, from Denmark. And Spain is in ball possession, uh, trying to s outswim uh, the Copenhagen players. We have a, a little bit of a situation we had uh, from Orcas against Langen, the, the the physical strength and body size of uh, Copenhagen is uh, in advantage of Copenhagen and the Spanish players have to outswim the Copenhagen dominance, bodily dominance. Yeah, they need to compensate that with agility and, yeah, and, speed. and speed. So well I have to agree, this moving camera is really making me seasick. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Me too. So but Spain still in ball possession and they, until now they do a good job in keeping the ball in their ranks but they are still occupied uh, defending off uh, the, uh, the Danish four checkers. Yeah. And now Denmark uh, has conquered the ball and is going for the Spanish basket. Oh One player coming from above, two on the ground, left and right of the basket. One is now in position directly in the middle of the basket waiting for the ball but uh, the player the ball carrier is up on the surface in the sun looks beautiful beautiful picture here in champions cup 2017 <laughs> and uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, danish players uh, oh around the basket and it's the first attack on from the open side and uh, it took a little bit too long to uh, put the impulse the pushing impulse on the goalkeeper from spain and she couldn't move her and was tackled away before she could score. But still, Copenhagen is in ball possession and uh, playing cool, waiting, then going when uh, their own team is in position. Now we can see they are trying again from the open side. A block, uh, one of the players do, did a blocking and the other player uh, swam over her into the open uh, space between the wall and the block, but didn't attack the goalkeeper. And again, the ball comes to the open side they're actually doing a lot of blocks. They are trying to get yeah. on this open side. And uh, so this block will create the time needed uh, and the safety needed to work on the goalkeeper. Beautiful picture. <laughs> yeah. Copenhagen is attacking relentlessly oh. out of the pool. Now Barcelona has the ball conquered. In the second, I told you, uh, Copenhagen is attacking. It was a really good try for a counter-attack, but sadly they got into a 
a cluster with uh, the Copenhagen ladies. So now we can see Copenhagen swimming against the, the basket. She was completely alone and still swam towards it. Um, the other players were in position and she couldn't make the pass. We saw in uh, the, the, the uh, previous games the very good defense of Spain and that's the case right here now. Even though uh, Copenhagen uh, had many chances to uh, attack, there was a crib on a head call from the referees and it's a free throw against Copenhagen. Um, but Copenhagen didn't succeed in executing uh, their scoring uh, attempts. Bueno, aquí para las personas de habla hispana, eh, este partido Barcelona lo está teniendo un poco difícil porque, como lo pudimos ver con Lange y Orcas, eh, las de Copenhague tienen una ventaja física y es que son un poco más grandes que las españolas. Eso les puede <coughs> dar una gran ventaja a la hora de defender y mantener a las españolas lo más lejos posible de la canasta que puedan. Eh, las españolas tienen que tratar de compensar esto entonces con mucha velocidad y agilidad y se ve que eso lo están tratando de hacer. I should speak in Danish now, don't, don't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should speak in Danish now. Yeah, you should. I should. I, I, I can't. You, <laughs> you can't? No, you I, I don't know how like to. Right away. <laughs> Another attack from Copenhagen coming from the front uh, down on the pool but tackled away by an... Uh, Spanish player, but the Copenhagen player succeeded in breaking free. Call from the referee. Rough playing free from Copenhagen. Through. And a free throw. No, rough play from uh, Spain, sorry. And uh, free throw against Spain. So we can see how Barcelona is trying to keep the Copenhagen team away from the basket. On the close side, they Copenhagen tried to come from the close side, but the, the tactics of Barcelona is to uh, stop the attacks by tackling uh, the ball carrier and bringing away from the dangerous area to the surface. There they can work uh, without the danger of uh, the, the, the proximity of the goal. And until now, and it's uh, already uh, six minutes into the first half, uh, Copenhagen hasn't found a remedy. And this is a moment, oh. there could be a possibility. The goalkeeper was away from the goal and the Copenhagen player was right above her, but she couldn't get the ball loose. She was tackled well, really hard. They have now a really good chance because the there was no defense there and yeah. the two players of the Danish team were S in pretty good position. Spain is out of rhythm in its defense. And this is what uh, Copenhagen needs to go into the basket. Aquí se puede ver como las españolas están un poquito fuera de sincronización en su defensa, porque por breves momentos la canasta estuvo completamente vacía y los defensas están demorándose mucho en bajar y eso le está dando una gran ventaja a Copenhagen para encontrar esos huecos que necesitan y tratar de hacer los puntos. So now we can see a counter attack from Barcelona. They are trying to very well played around uh, the Copenhagen uh, offense. But now it took a little bit too long uh, for another Spanish player to appear and uh, the ball carriers on a heavy attack <coughs> by three Copenhagen players. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how long my voice can withstand. Like that? Like that. I have to deepen it. <laughs> and here, a good uh, chance for uh, Spain. It's a quick one-on-one -on -one situation, but she couldn't go come over the, the long feet, uh, the long legs of uh, the Copenhagen player pushing her away. I All from the reverie. I have the feeling this Free game is a little blue. bit slower than the other ones. They are taking their time, they are analyzing the situation more than yes, the other teams. Yes, and I think Barcelona, uh, yet if we compare them to uh, the Orcas, is a little bit slower in the movement. 
Uh, and Copenhagen is a little bit slower than Langen yeah. in swimming. Copenhagen again in ball possession and uh, working its way into the basket area of Spain. And Spain is in position to defend. So now there, Copenhagen is trying to get in the right position on the open side. They are trying to get this ball to the open side to try and score one point, but their ball got snatched by Barcelona, and now they can start a counter-attack. So let's see, the, the, the swimming capacities of Barcelona are quite good. They're agile, they, they out over-swim uh, Copenhagen players and make it quite fast uh, to the Copenhagen basket, but they are at the basket, they got stuck. And oh, uh, now this is a chance. This is a chance. This Spanish player is directly at the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper tackled her away. And uh, the size difference of these two players coming up to the surface was evident, and it was really almost impossible for the Spanish player to overcome the goalkeeper. Now we're in the surface, Copenhagen in ball possession. Attacked by the forechecking of Spain. And here we go, Copenhagen is a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalkeeper from Spain. She's going all in alone, but then the reinforcement from Copenhagen came back to, to help her. It took her too long, it was a, a, a very good situation for the Copenhagen player to push the goalkeeper up, but it took a little bit too long and the defense from uh, Spain tackled her. Well, she didn't push hard enough, yeah. would I say. End of the first half. It is a really good match. They are like, they have equal chances, I guess. Yeah, but but uh, Copenhagen is dominating it. Yeah. Uh, physically, I think they are the dominant game here, a uh, team here in this game. But yeah. as we saw in the game uh, from uh, Spain against Newark, it's always possible uh, there is a misunderstanding of the goal and um, mm -hmm. you see uh, an empty basket and there was almost the chance uh, for the Spanish team, the male team, to score on the uh, empty basket. But that's a moment where we have uh, switch and move fast and never hesitate. If you see an empty basket, even if you hear uh, the horn, always throw, uh, go into the basket, throw the ball into the basket. You'd never know uh, if it was a mistake by the referees. And uh, in this case, he really should have moved fast and he hesitated for a, a blink of an yeah. eye and it was a little bit too long. Yeah, yeah. Well, and the, the girls from Barcelona need to play a little faster and smarter because they are getting into a lot of fights with the Copenhagen team. They need to play agile and try to go to that basket faster and go for it. Don't hesitate, don't wait for the others, just go for it. And with this 0-0 uh, uh, in the second half, it's dangerous for both teams. The next uh, goal will be uh, uh, the one that decides it, uh, because the other team can play for time. And with only 10 minutes in every half, it's really difficult for a team um, who has to score to overcome a defense and score themselves to equalize and mm. go in penalties. So day three here in Champions Cup 2017 for those who just tuned in. We have 154 uh, spectators in the live stream. This is Champions Cup 2017, Champions Cup number 29. And we have uh, 23 teams from all over the world, um, to be precise, from 14 nations in this Champions Cup. Um, 14 men teams and uh, nine women teams. Seen a great uh, game so far yesterday, the game uh, Orcas against uh, uh, Molde Flipper. It was really an uh, amazing uh, day yesterday with uh, uh, surprising outcomes. Molde, who did win the Champions Cup uh, 10 times, is already on place five. Coming in, uh, missing key players, having a lot of uh, young players in the team. 
Here we go, second half, uh, Barcelona in wise from s white from Spain against uh, Copenhagen in blue uh, from Denmark. And uh, we need to see uh, one goal at least if uh, one of the teams wants to prevent going into penalties. We are in the middle of the pool and uh, uh, didn't see who was carrying the ball, but we had a cluster there. Copenhagen uh, is in ball possession. They try to coordinate uh, their attack on the Spanish basket. Already Copenhagen players waiting on the close side. And now the player uh, carrying the ball coming in uh, on the open side in front of the basket in the height of the uh, goalkeeper. But the goalkeeper snatched the ball and is now uh, holding the ball with both hands. Oh, There was a pass to a uh, Copenhagen player intercepted by a Spanish player but the Spanish player uh, didn't uh, succeed securing the ball and still Copenhagen from Denmark in ball possession. <laughs> Copenhagen is attacking now, it's around uh, the Spanish basket is attacking uh, incoming waves, but the ball carrier at this moment was tackled away by a Spanish player. There's a little bit of misunderstanding here by the Copenhagen players. They uh, swim in each other's way, but they uh, don't have to hurry. They are pressing hard on the basket of Spain. Free throw white. again so bang in the game sorry uh, there was uh, was yeah. talking to Christian Schaefer here he wanted to give me information for the finals <coughs> information about flipper thank you Christian Schaefer okay back in the game sorry uh, there's always a lot of going around here around the commentator box <coughs> <laughs> This camera is making me look really seasick. <laughs> wow. All right. Um, We're at the Spanish basket, and the ball is on the surface in a cluster, dropping down in the hands of a uh, Copenhagen player. And Copenhagen is now occupying the space under the uh, Spanish basket. They have a pretty, a pretty good But I saw, I saw a lot of uh, Copenhagen players swimming in each other in the last uh, minutes. <coughs> Uh, yeah, trying to to make that to score. Yeah, Just well, but they score. they swarm in each other, yeah. and they're really uh, surprising because normally this uh, saw them really well coordinated with mm. each other, but they seem to be a little bit out of thing, sync uh, while attacking right now. And Spain is uh, still well defending and not really under pressure. Rough play, free throw. White free throw so for the white team. Play from um, I think the this match would go to penalties. I really think that because both teams are well pushing Ho against each other. And Jose Castro, uh, it, it depends. Uh, um, None of them, I guess, wants to go into penalties. And when we will see penalties in uh, the end of this game, it will be in favor of Copenhagen um, because of the uh, superior body size and strength. I guess it would be uh, surprised if uh, 
Spain could make it through the penalties with a win. But uh, it's not over yet, it's five minutes to go. And Copenhagen has to be more aggressive on the Spanish basket. Yeah, the Spanish people need to get a hold of the ball more often and try to make more passes that work correctly because they are struggling a lot in the middle of the swimming pool. Yeah, it's true. So it's a back and forth in the middle of the pool now, uh, forward checking for both teams. Spain in ball possession, uh, Copenhagen in ball possession, and uh, they attack each other very much, but uh, Copenhagen player comes out of this uh, with, an, uh, with a ball possession, and now oh we're in no. the open side, and the Copenhagen player is trying to go into the goalkeeper, but uh, was tackled away. Copenhagen still in ball possession. Now they come again from the open side. The defense from Barcelona is pretty solid. They uh, can get rough through. play, All yeah. It, it, it Spain does quite Three a good job to interrupt uh, the attacks yeah. of uh, Copenhagen. And Copenhagen is, uh, is, is, is stopping their uh, attacks again and again Timeout because one. of these interrupts mm -hmm. and they don't come in a flow that you don't see them building up this uh, constant pressure that will create uh, 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 breaks so yeah, yeah. Uh, gaps in the Spanish defense it's a timeout from blue and I guess the um, coach from uh, Danish team will tell them they have to step up oh, a little bit <laughs> it smells like uh, penalty. Smells like team spirit. <laughs> it smells like penalty. <laughs> yeah. Four minutes. Four. So again, uh, if you want to have one of these very nice uh, lollipops, handmade. Uh, from uh, Colombia, really it's uh, from the father of uh, uh, Lilo and uh, Camilo Diaz. So uh, <laughs> he gave them uh, to us to give them to you for free. Come <laughs> to the commentator box. Thank you very much, Daddy of uh, Camilo and Lilo Diaz. Is he online again? No, no, he's not. Probably online not. So, Diego, you say uh, it would be a good chance for uh, Barcelona in the penalties. Well, let's see. Um, I would be, like I said, in, in my estimation, I would be surprised uh, if, uh, if... If they can make it through yeah, the penalties. If, if the, the superior body length and strength uh, of Copenhagen, if it doesn't work for as an advantage and a disadvantage for Spain. But let's see. I'm always open uh, for surprises. And Copenhagen is in ball possession in the middle of the pool, trying to <coughs> overcome the defense, the offensive uh, play of Barcelona. And we're back at the basket. Call from the referee. Two minutes, 51 left. Still a good chance for Copenhagen uh, to score here. But they have to go into the uh, defense of Spain with more pressure, with more impulse in the moment, uh, they go for the push. Mm -hmm. But they are stopped very well. Yeah, they are being stopped at the at the moment when they come to the basket. They yes. can't go further in. Here we go. That's a chance. There's one uh, Copenhagen player come from above, tries to pull away, and she pulls away the Spanish goalkeeper. And they're now an empty basket, and the. Sp Copenhagen player didn't succeed in uh, controlling the ball good enough to throw it or to push it over the defender. And there's the, the, the attacker outside of uh, the... Oh, there, oh it there it is! But it was... You saw the, the confusion oh, and the chaos in the uh, Spanish defense when the goalkeeper was pulled away from the goal and the basket was empty. And after that, it was really difficult for Spain to re-establish their uh, uh, defense and the, and the basket, uh, there were gaps there and suddenly uh, one player came in from Copenhagen yeah, and scored. You could also see how the, the, mm. 
goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was a little bit confused and yep, it was exactly. really a big confusion there because the basket was huh? a long time alone. Yes. Yeah. So this was uh, after this relentless uh, attacks from Copenhagen, the the focus, the concentration <laughs> seemed to break in the moment the goalkeeper was pulled away by the attacker and uh, they lost their rhythm and caught a goal. So Barcelona, if you want to turn this game around, you have to step up and go forward, forward, forward. Karina is talking uh, to her team and telling them, no, 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 don't defend, <laughs> go in offense, score. You got ready? Just like the last match, yeah. actually. Yeah. Can we have another camera? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, Barcelona, time to see some, uh, oh, that Whoa, was a grip on the face. But it was not intentional as you wanted to go for the uh, ball. We're on the surface, a cluster, and the cluster is pushed in the direction of uh, the Copenhagen basket. Well, we have to move with the movements of the camera, yeah. then it's not so bad. <laughs> um, they attack, they try to, Spain tries now to attack from the close side of the basket. One minute, uh, approximately one minute left. And uh, Spain and has to go in with everything they have. Don't hesitate if you want to equalize this and at least go into penalties. But I think that movement was not so smart to go all in completely alone. No, it, it wasn't every, the whole team should occupy the space around. Yeah. Here oh, is, is counter Copenhagen counter-attack. Spain had to open up uh, the their play. The goalkeeper is a little bit confused, you can see that. Wow, well wow. played uh, between these two attacking players. And uh, the one attacker above the goalkeeper wrapped her hand around the neck of the goalkeeper, pulled her away and pushed the ball in. Very nice play, very well executed. Even though the first pass of the second uh, ball carrier was not that not that precise, um, the Copenhagen player managed to save and the ball. And there it is. Well, there was a clear decision now for uh, Copenhagen with a 2-0 win. Well done, Copenhagen.